Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a smooth impact zoom or bump hit effect onto your clips. So I have this clip on the timeline, and let's say you wanted to create a little bit of a bump or zoom impact whenever a certain beat hit or something happened in the clip that you wanted to emphasize. So the way to do this is by using keyframes. And although you could just keyframe the regular position effect, what we're going to do is actually go on the right hand side and search for an effect called transform. This is going to allow us to add scaling with motion blur. So we'll click and drag this effect onto the clip or whatever adjustment layers are working on on top of the clip. And then we're going to do some keyframing on the scale effect that you find here. But first let's turn off use composition shutter angle and use our own shutter angle of anywhere from 0 to 160 the higher the more blur you're going to get. So I'll use 180 and now let's find a point in our music or clip that we want to zoom into. So I've synchronized the point right as this man splashes into the water to a beat on the music. So what I'm going to do here is if you want you can press M if you need a visual marker that'll create a little marker that's a nice little tip. But really you just have to go to the scale effect Make sure you toggle animation on by clicking the stopwatch icon until it's highlighted blue. And then turn the scale up to anywhere from 125 or 140. Just to show you guys for emphasis, I'll use 140, which is a decent amount of zoom there. Now what I'm going to do is arrow over about two or three frames to the left. And then I'll make the scale go back to 100. So we're starting at 100. And then it's quickly in one or two, three frames going into the higher amount of scale. And then move over a little bit further. We want it to slowly ramp off into back to 100. So we should have three keyframes when all is said and done. And you can navigate between the keyframes by pressing these arrow keys here. But we have one, two, three going from default 100 to your scaled up amount like 120. And then back to 100 a little bit further down the line. So let's play that back and see what that looks like. So you can see there's a quick impact of a zoom and then it gradually fades back to regular scale. However, you might be asking yourself, what if I want to zoom a little bit off center? As you can see in this example, the man is kind of out of frame when we zoom in, which I guess is missing the action. So what you can do is arrow over to your middle keyframe again, so you're on the exact same position and then add some keyframes to the anchor point. So I'll toggle animation here as well. And if you need it, you can move this down a bit. So I'm more on the area that I wanted to zoom into. Just make sure you don't go out of frame and start getting some black bars. And then let's arrow over one more time on the scale keyframe. Make sure this is back to default. And then let's arrow over to the third one and make sure it's back to default by then as well. And then just make sure you do any adjustments needed so that there's no black bars showing. So now when I play that back with the anchor point involved, I'm able to scale in a slight direction that I want and still get that impact zoom. An alternative way that you could use the effect is instead of having it gradually zoom back out, you could just delete that third keyframe and then just have it stay zoomed in. So it'll just bump up zoom like a nice flash forward effect. And that can be really useful just make sure you cut the effect back off. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you're looking for a smooth zooming transition effect where it zooms into another clip and transitions, then I actually have a full tutorial on that for zooming in, out, and adding sound effects. So check out the playlist on my channel and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all new future videos from me. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho. If you want to send me a DM, reach out to me, questions, whatever. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.